Hello, hello, everybody. How are you this morning? Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Business Growth Insights, where every single Tuesday I come live in my group, Confident Successful Business Owners, and give you some incredible training that you can take away and implement into your business, which is going to help you to not only develop your confidence as a business owner, but also, as the group says, to be able to go out and use that confidence and implement what I'm teaching you to have incredible success. So welcome today to today's training. It's lovely to have you with us. If you are popping on live, say hi. If you are watching the replay, pop in hashtag replay so I can come back and say hi. If you are watching, now I'm actually going live via StreamYard today. I'm going live in three different places. So if you are watching from either my personal profile or my Facebook or business page, just um, pop on over into the group if you like so that you can have a little bit more, we can have a little bit more interaction with each other. Good morning, Parme. How are you? There comes your beautiful comment and you see how Parme's name has come up here if you uh, give StreamYard permission to see your name then I can see who it is who's commenting so that's always fun <laughs> all right my beautiful people so as you're coming to join us today as I said just pop in and say hi hey Chris how are you lovely lady great to have you joining me this morning all right so I'm going to get straight into the training today because I have a really cool one if I do say so myself and what we're going to talk about is the power of saying yes to new opportunities. Now, this for me is very exciting. Now, before I begin today, though, there's something that I want you to do. I want you to think about how you usually feel, right, or what usually might come up or what, what you might feel or what you might do when new opportunities come your way. So either, right, consciously or subconsciously, right? Let me say that again. So I want you to think about how you feel and what you usually do, either consciously or subconsciously, when new opportunities present themselves to you. And I want you to keep that in mind through today's training because it's all going to make sense why I'm asking you this question. All right, as we go along. Good morning, Carol. Lovely to have you joining us. Morning, Ali and friends. Yes, we've got some friends. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. So before we go on, the second thing I just want to mention to you is but as we're going on today, if you think that you go, yes, I'm loving this training or, you know, there's something that really challenges you and you go, yeah, I want to dive deeper into that. By all means, book in for a business booster call with me. You can see that the link is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Um, there's also the QR code here. And, of course, you can um, just pop, you know, pop booster call in the comments if you like. And the, even the link's just gone in the comments. Look, we're all over it this morning. All right, so let's get into the training. Carol, run through my ability to do so and ask questions to see if I can do the opportunity. Oh, good. Oh, awesome. Love that, Carol. Love that. All right. I love that you're already thinking. That's fantastic. Okay. So first of all, what does it truly mean? What does it truly mean to say yes? Well, for me personally, I believe, right, that opportunities are putting put in front of us for a reason. I don't think there's any such thing as a bad opportunity, right? And I believe that it is it is making the best out of all the opportunities that are presented to us. They're not a coincidence, they're there for a reason. And because of that, it's then our job to grab hold of these opportunities and make the best of everything possible that we can. So that's one part of what, what it means to really, truly say yes to new opportunities coming your way. The second thing is you are creating, when you say yes, you are creating opportunities and chances for yourself to learn and grow. Now, growing and learning is something that we do every single day in business. We do it in every aspect of our business. 
And opportunities, right, can be one of the biggest ways that we do this. It can be really exciting. So you can either choose to go and source opportunities for yourself. I'm going to talk about this a little bit further, or you can, or they can come to you. They can present themselves to you. But they are fantastic opportunities to learn and grow. And it is exciting when it happens. And I'm hoping you can feel my excitement because I love it. There's nothing that I love more when a new opportunity comes my way. So I just go, oh, what can I learn from that? And that's what I want for you guys as well. Stretch your comfort zone and overcoming fears and doubts. Now, I've deliberately put these two together, right? Let's get real. It's scary to say yes to new things, to things that we might not yet um, fully understand. But I want you to do this. I want you to take it from me as someone who... <laughs> On a daily basis, daily basis, steps out of my comfort zone, right? I'm saying yes um, and saying yes to specifically things that, you know, that scare you. It's a massive opportunity to step into that, into those fears. When you do step into those fears, that's when you, you are stretching your comfort zone. And... You can feel, you can feel your confidence. You know, we, you know, I talk all about confidence. You can feel it growing, right? Um, I've had a lot of people say to me this year that, Ali, in the last year, we've seen you, you know, really grow a lot. And I'm not, and I don't say this to brag. I say this as to say, and do you know why that is? Because I have said yes, because I have stepped into all the fears that I have, those fears that I have on a daily basis. And I step into them and I do what I need to do and my comfort zone is stretched. So the more I do that, the, the you know, better I feel. What I also love to see is that my, my Heart and Soul Business Academy clients do this as well. I love it when we start the course and they, you know, they're kind of like really, there's a lot of trepidation and it's like, oh, I don't know that I, you know, <laughs> that I want to do what you're telling me to do, Ellie. But as the course goes on, and they implement what I teach them and they're stepping into the things that they might be scared of, like doing stuff, more stuff on social media, like doing sales calls, like whatever it is that they need to do. As they stretch their comfort zone, the growth that I see in them is exciting and incredible for, for them. And, they, and it's not only in them, it's in their business as well. So Saying yes, stretching your comfort zone and overcoming your fears and doubts. Really massive way to say yes. And as well as allowing yourself to experience so much more, right? The more you put yourself out there, the more you allow yourself to experience. The more you allow yourself to experience, the more you're going to grow. The more you grow, the more your business is going to grow. And so it's a win-win <laughs> when you say yes. It's a win-win. So, and I want to just stop here and I want to say to you, you know, when you're saying yes to new opportunities, trust in your abilities. Trust in yourself, trust in your abilities. Because guess what? Other people believe in you. And there's a lot of times when these opportunities, they're, you know, that they're coming from people who might be approaching us. So it's, it's a huge, it's an absolutely huge, whoops, my phone's doing funny things, sorry. It's a huge opportunity for you to grow. It's also something that you can choose to take as a humongous compliment when people are approaching you, for instance, you know, to um, do an interview, whatever it is, they're approaching you to offer you to do an interview in their Facebook group or on their podcast. It's a huge compliment to you because what that says is that they see something in you that they want to help promote. They see something in you, they see a light shining in you that they want to help you get your business out there. And I want to talk about what when I first signed up, I, I worked with this particular coach for, for over two years and I went to, some of you might have heard this story before, but I've, I went to a workshop, um, one of her workshops here in Adelaide and I approached her after I approached her about working with her. Um, you know, although there was obviously the invitation there to do that, but she said something to me that really, it was a, 
it was a compliment to me. She said, you know, I've looked at your social media, I've looked at what you do in business and you have everything it takes to be in business. And that was her believing in me. And so I chose to take that for what it was as a compliment. And a lot of people have said to me, I was just a sales pitch. And do you know what? It, it, partly, yeah, it was. But in choosing to say yes and to work with that coach, I then found that it was a lot more than that because she did see the potential I had and she did help me with that. <clears throat> and so when people approach you, they can see your abilities. They can see that your growth or your potential for growth. They can see your talent. They can see what you have to offer. Otherwise, guess what? If they didn't see that, they wouldn't be approaching you in the first place. So it's a huge compliment. So take it for what it is. Others believe in you. That's exciting. And then because others believe in you, then it's your turn to believe in yourself. Now, self-doubt is one of the biggest things that hold us back from saying yes. And again, you know, when these opportunities are put in front, they're put in front of you for a reason. So it's up to you guys, you know, to it's up to us to then when, when the opportunities are put in front of us, then it's up to us to grab hold of them with both barrels and roll with it. And as I said before, even, you know, even when you do have that self-doubt, when you do have that fear, this is the time when we need to trust in yourself, you need to trust in yourself. And I'm telling you, this is my inspiration for you, that you can do anything. You can do this. You've got this. Others believe in you, so believe in yourself. Well, Alyssa, is perfect timing a real thing? I get asked this a lot. Is there such thing as perfect timing? Well, here's my opinion on it. It can be, if we let it be, a bit of a catch-22. So I've had a lot of people say to me, you know, when we talk about the possibility of working together, I've had a lot of people say to me, it's not the right time yet. And so my question is always to them, well, when is the right time? How do you know when it's the right time? And quite often it's when these people have approached me to work with me and then they've told me it's not the right time. So when is the right time? So here's the thing. This is what I mean when basically it's a bit of a catch-22. Basically you have a choice. When you choose to say yes, this is when you make it the right choice for you. Okay, this is when this this is when you're saying yes, this is you putting trust in you. You're showing that you're feeling and having that faith in yourself. So of course it's going to be the right time because you're making, you're choosing to make it the right time. And let's let me go back to working with that particular coach. There was a lot of fear in investing with that particular coach. And part of me wanted to go, it's not the right time yet. But the bigger part of me went, you know what? It is the right time. I knew it was the right time. And guess what? If you ne if you don't um, make the choice, you'll never know. Don't regret never knowing what might have been. Just don't regret what never know. Let me say that again. Don't regret <clears throat> never knowing what might have been. What's the worst that can happen if you say yes and for some reason, whatever that might be, it doesn't work out? Most likely the worst thing that's happened is you've learned something. You've taken a chances, chance in yourself and you've learned something. And also taking those chances can be fun. Now you do, and let me just pause here, it's, it's not, <clears throat> you know, it's not being silly, right? It's not taking silly chances. You, there's a level of discernment that we need to have um, and, you know, be sensible in what we're saying yes to. But, but honestly, if you're saying yes to something that you deep down you know is right for you and when you're stepping out in faith, this is what will help you make things happen for you. 
So again, your choice is, you know, to to say yes or say no. And if you say no, you'll never know. So you've got a choice, another choice, right? There's a lot of choices here. Think about it. You, you can either stay stagnant, you can never know, or you can give something a go and see what comes of it. Also, not only see what comes of it, but what you make of it. <laughs> see that? You see that? So it's not only what comes of it, it's also what you make of that choice that you make. <clears throat> when is it okay to say no? Now, there's, if, you're, if you have warning bells that are going off, right, if your body, there's something in your body, something up here goes warning, 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 or your intuition is picking up that something isn't right, then I'm not trying to tell you to say yes to everything. Like I said, there's a level of discernment. There are times when, of course, you're going to just know in your bones, right, that something's not right for you. <clears throat> and that's fine. But there are going to be other times when your intuition is telling you that it is right for you, but it's your fear that's holding you back. There's a huge difference in that. And I'm going to say that again because I want you to hear this, right? There are, yes, there are going to be times when your intuition is going to tell you that things aren't right for you. You're going to feel it in your bones. You're just going to go, oh, no, not for me. There are other times when your intuition, you know in your bones that it's the right thing for you, but it's your fear that's going to hold you back. So, again, going back to working with this coach again, I knew in my bones it was the right thing to work with her. I was shit scared. To, to make that commitment, to make the investment to work with her. But my intuition was telling me that I needed to do it. Now, and, and I'll tell you what, it was a big decision to make. And I sat on the fence for about 24 hours, but I've not regretted it once. And see, this is why I wanted you at the very beginning of this to think about what you, you know, think about your usual reactions that you have when you're thinking about different opportunities that you know when you have these opportunities presented in front of you what do you do what do you what's your automatic reaction do you hide in that fear or do you go into over analytical mode what do you do but honestly you know again is it okay to say no of course it is if you've got alarm bells going off in your mind then go with your gut right? there's been times i've done that and that's absolutely fine. Maybe you might have got, you might have said yes to something, you might have given it a go um, and find it's not for you. You know, I've done that plenty of times. Um, I started a collaboration with, with a beautiful person a good couple of years ago now. It was a collaboration um, with, a, with a show. And, you know, I went into it. It's my fault. I probably didn't research it enough. I said yes to a new opportunity that jumped in front of me. Um, and after a few weeks, I can't, my gut was telling me that, you know what, this, this while it's an awesome opportunity, it's really not for me. And so I'd given it a go, but I found it wasn't for me. So I politely had to approach this other person with this collaboration and say it's not for me, right? But I said yes, thinking it was going to be great and with all good intentions. But my gut instinct was going, it's not the right avenue for me. And you might find that too. You might, you might say yes to something and then find it's not for you. It's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with saying no if something's not working out properly. You know, like I've worked with, with a bunch of coaches um, who I've hired and then they've, you know, haven't ended up being a good fit for me. So I've had to go back to them and say, look, this, this isn't working because it's not right for me. Nothing wrong with what they're doing. They're doing an awesome job, but it's me. It's not right. I'm not aligned with them, right? And it wasn't fear because <laughs> I had to analyze that. So is it okay to say no? Of course it is. And there are going to be times. Now, what kinds of opportunities can you say yes to? Oh my God, there's a bunch. Let's have a look. So <clears throat> interviews, presentations, Right, these are amazing things to say yes to. 
I've mentioned this before. My personal rule is that no matter what, when someone approaches me for an interview or to do a training such as this somewhere or do a presentation, I always say yes. And the reason for that is because these are fantastic ways, mostly free, to get yourself in front of brand new audiences, right? And so what I generally do is I've learned to say yes now and figure it out later. <laughs> There've absolutely been times when um, it hasn't, you know, I've said yes and it hasn't been right and that's okay. You know, what did I do? I learned from that mistake. That's fine. Um, but they are great ways to get yourself in front of a new audience. And I just want to stop here. Um, if you go into my group, Confident Successful Business Owners, I actually put a post in the group um, earlier today and it's about being interviewed in a podcast called Talking with the Experts with Rose Davidson. Now, this is an incredible podcast um, and I would highly recommend it. I've been on this podcast. Rose is a great interviewer and it is a really good opportunity to get yourself in front of a huge audience, both on Facebook and YouTube and in the podcast world. Rose is, I think now, uh, um, Rose, if you're watching, you might want to do the latest stats, but I think she's in like the top 100 in Australia podcast. So you really want to get on this. So, you know, interviews, presentations, great ways to say yes, great things to say yes to, to help you grow yourself, um, get yourself more visible and get yourself in front of brand new audiences. Collaborations, just like I was speaking about just now. Collaborations in business are awesome because business can be lonely. Sometimes we feel like we are doing it all by ourselves and we don't have to do it all by ourselves. And, you know, I want to talk about this incredible collaboration. You know, I've tried other collaborations, but something that's literally just come about this year is a collaboration that I had with an incredible lady called Susie Manley. And, um, you know, she does, she created a format of virtual expos to support small businesses. I approached her and said, can I copy your model? She said, yes. What's the, and the collaboration that has developed out of that, of me approaching her, has been, so now we mutually sponsor and support and promote each other's expos. And the and so it's an incredible collaboration. I'm so excited about it. But it's even been, you know, we've developed a friendship from it. And through that friendship has also come a bigger collaboration earlier in the year, earlier in next year, in 2023, where we are both holding together a, a virtual retreat. And Susie and I run very similar businesses. We're both business coaches. We both do pretty much exactly the same thing, just in our own ways. So collaborations, guys, are powerful. And again, getting yourselves in front of new audiences. So her audience has become mine and my audience has become hers. And it's exciting. So collabs are not only a great way to grow your business, they're also a lot of fun because you get to, you know, be in business with someone else. <laughs> Learning and development opportunities or professional development, whatever you want to call it. Now, this could be something like working with coaches or mentors that might be doing training courses, right? Whatever it is, it's important that we stay up to date in business. Things are changing all the time. You know, even we know in the last three years, the way people are doing business has changed significantly. So we need to keep up to date with it. So just like when you have a normal day job, right, learning, learning and professional development is key. And I actually saw, I found this was really interesting, actually. I saw this morning um, on Facebook a post in another group and the, the question was, um, do you only work with coaches who invest in themselves? And my response to that was, absolutely. Because if you're not investing, if they're not investing in themselves or if we're not investing ourselves in ourselves as coaches, then they're not growing. So as I've mentioned, something that I love to do is invest in myself and learn continuously. And the huge reason that I do that is so that I can then pass on my knowledge to my clients. So the things that I'm learning all the time, and I'm always learning this stuff, I love to pass on to my clients. So professional development is key, however you decide to do it. Personal development as well. Personal development opportunities are important too. So you know, 
I believe these are as important as each other, but often the people miss the personal development side of it. And you guys know that I teach in the areas, my three pillars are mindset, motivation, and marketing. There's a reason that mindset always comes first because it is the most important aspect of being able to continue in business. Yes, you need to do the marketing. Yes, you need to do the sales. Yes, you need to set the goals, all of those. And they're all important, don't get me wrong, but mindset is key to be able to continue in business. And so personal development in the mindset area is key as well. So that's, you know, I, I couldn't miss that one out. New clients. We all want new clients, right? <laughs> Who doesn't want new clients? That's why we're in business, to get new clients. So, of course, you're going to say yes to new clients. But you know what? There's going to be times when your instinct, like I mentioned before, might be telling you that you might not be a right fit to work together. And that's okay. It doesn't mean if you're not like, if you're maybe not a, a right fit together or the client says no or whatever that is, that doesn't mean it was a waste of time. Absolutely not. And actually, it's quite the opposite because I can tell you that it is only Tuesday <laughs> and um, I've had two people, two people say, um, you know, no, but they have referred me on to other people who I might be, who might be a better fit. And so this is what can happen. This is what I mean when I say it doesn't have to be a waste of time if, it, if the, the, for instance, the new client doesn't go ahead. Something else might come of it. So it's exciting because I've said yes to that opportunity to reach out and potentially help, um, you know, a client, someone who came to and who approached me wanting to talk about me helping. Um, actually, you know, we we mutually agreed that we weren't a good fit to work together and that's fine, not a problem, but referrals have come from it. So then it's never a waste of time. So always say, again, it's an opportunity that's presented it to presented itself to me. This is what I want for you guys as well. New clients um, or potential new clients can bring many new opportunities, not just themselves as a client. All right, who's picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> Tell me, give me a two in the comments if you're getting this. And lastly, anything, right? You can say yes to anything that comes your way. I mean, the, the thing is the possibilities here are absolutely endless, right? Be on the lookout for possibilities. So don't just wait for the possibilities to come to you. Be on the lookout for them. Reach out to be interviewed. Like I said, you know, Talking with the Experts podcast with Rose Davidson. Reach out. Go and book a time with Rose. She's brilliant. Um, you know, send articles into magazines. Approach someone that you have been thinking about having, you know, working with. Approach someone that you've been thinking about learning or getting training from. Are you thinking about collaborating with someone? Have you seen them and gone, I want to work with that person? Approach them. The worst that can happen is they can say no, and that's okay. It just means it might not be the right time. It doesn't mean it's a no. But to get these opportunities, you know, yes, that's a lot of them will present themselves to you, but when you are proactive as a business owner, you're going to be amazed at what your proactivity will then bring it back into you, right? So when you're reaching out to people, other people, different people are going to come to you. So it's exciting. So there's lots of opportunities ahead for you, my wonderful people. So again, are you ready? Are you ready to step into new opportunities? Because if you are, I've got, I'm your girl to help you, right? If you're looking, if you want to go deeper, if you want to learn more, get into that self-development, that professional development, I'm your girl. Book in, let's have a chat. In a business booster call, we're going to talk about where you are in business, why you're there. I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you can implement into your business. And we'll talk about the possibility of working together further. We'll talk about the possibility of you joining the Heart and Soul Business Academy. It's no pressure, but I'd love to have the opportunity to help you go deeper to build your confidence, to be able to put yourself out there and grow your business and just 
Start 2023 with a bang for you. So that's it from me today, beautiful people. I hope you have enjoyed that training. I am excited for you to go out and say yes to new opportunities that might present themselves to you. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you soon and I will see you again next Tuesday. Have a fantastic day, everyone. All right, bye.